we've been calling the bullish case since this low right here. This was a very interesting case of absorption. This was a pretty cool spot because at this point we were thinking more that increase of volatility and spread and supply in general might suggest some retest of the lows. And then this bar beautifully negates all of that and we had to restructure our thinking about oil. And from that point on, we said, because it negates this bar right here, we're gonna go up and we're gonna hit the long-term resistance, which we have. Now here at the top of it, the thought was that the approach, even though I liked it, but still it's not an extremely aggressive approach. And then as we start seeing supply here on this bar, which is this volume bar, so slight increase of the supply. Compression shows more supply. This bar shows more supply. Attempt to rally, immediate negation. Attempt to rally on still high supply level. Immediate negation, supply tail, still increase of the supply. Now we are trying to rally and there is more compression. This is a lesser degree of the quality of the demand and the result to the upside. So now we're ready to go down with that ease of movement and then just to break down. And this bar just has some demand in it behind the compression here. And after that, this bar was just an anomaly with the event. It's this Iran Israel event, I think overnight. So that's what produced this type of spike. And right now we see no follow through to the downside. So our statement was, could we come here and then consolidate to work through this long-term consolidation? Because when we have such a long downtrend and such an important resistance line, sometimes it takes time to work it through it. And it goes up and down until it finds that oven and then advances. Okay. And I